Hi, you winners! Welcome to some more Mass Effect. And last we played, we got Rex. I think we got Garrus in the episode before, but pff, let's just reiterate how awesome he is. Okay, cool. Um, and then Tali, we just got most recently. So, what are we supposed to do from here? Honestly, I have no idea. Why is that glowing? Okay, cool. So, we started out here, and I'm not sure where we're supposed to go from here. The ambassadors have this beautiful park to relax in. Most of them are too busy to ever use it. All right. That's sad. What do you have to I say? I could use a snack. <laughs> Think there's any fish out in that lake? What lake? I missed the lake. Oh, cool. That's really pretty. Honestly, that's a really pretty lake. I would love. I would love to work there, except for the fact that it's military. And let's not glitch into there. I looked back at the footage and I glitched into it. I didn't fall into it. Okay, let's go this way. I think I went down the last time too. So I've never gone up, but that's okay. All right. What? What do you? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Okay. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm listening. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'll find out. We'll put this right. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. Aww. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. That's legit. You pointed over there? Let's see. Let us check it out. It's either over here or over in that other section, so... I'm a nice person. I'll find out for you. Uh, there are way too many options. This way? Is this a bar? Oh my. Diplomat. I don't need to talk to a diplomat. You're a diplomat as well. Where's that guy I need to talk to? Oh, we'll keep her. Just get him. Ha 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 ha. Okay. I can break into this one. So... Codex 12? Oh, it just happened. Okay, cool. Interesting. Set. Okay, fine. I'll talk to you. I can't believe I landed a job here. <laughs> this place is fantastic. All right, someone's excited about their work life. I can't talk to the Turian. Fine. I've got Garrus. Delighted. Welcome. It is good to meet you. All right. You're happy. I like it. Let's go up this way. Because we didn't try this way. Oh my gosh. So many options. Is that where I came from? No, it's not. Okay. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Uh, I'll go where I want. Okay, no, uh, who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Legit. Um, uh, CSEC. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Okay. Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. You don't like them? What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Legit. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. That's legit. Um, investigation? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Damn. Okay, investigate. Uh, two, two, two. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. Who is no, that? No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. Sorry, was there being given a lot. If the council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. 
Legit. I'm not gonna push it. Okay. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Awkward. Well, you're kind of nice towards me, though. So I'm not gonna complain. I mean, nicer than Saren. <laughs> Which isn't saying much, but you know. Easy to scroll. Uh, do this. Ah! <laughs> I was like, shit, shit, that's the opportunity. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable amount to multiple recipients across the extranet. Uh, further monitoring of the situation is warranted. Uh, my fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. If you understand us, you or tolerate us. We must stand together. We must we must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Alright. So that was for biotics. Um... Which I'm not. I'm tech. Part tech. <laughs> I can like that. I can read them from here. So, I was supposed to go to a bar. That didn't happen. Let's try and find that bar now. I have a feeling it was the opposite direction of which I went. But you know. Wait, I can go in here. Wait, is this a bar? This looks like a bar. <gasps> Found you. Yes. Talk. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Uh there we go. <laughs> yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's You're body. You're stealing corpses. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. But what's going on? Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Yes. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. Uh, that is why her body is being held. You're running texts or tests. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, <sighs> Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. This isn't right. It's blue. I want it. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Legit. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Hmm. I do when you're wrong. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. Damn! All right, Commander. You win. Yes! It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. Aww. I'll go now to see to it myself. Thanks. Yay! We're nice people. Go us. Okay. Hi, person. Um, can I talk to anyone else, though, in the meantime? This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. <laughs> Don't believe the rumors. The consort What do you want? Oh, I didn't... Oh, Commander. I didn't mean to Is talk to you. Is there something I could do for you? Uh, consort? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. Ah... <laughs> uh, You've never been, have you, boy? <laughs> Rex. I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Where is she? Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Okay. <laughs> so I need to talk with her, apparently. Who are you? I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. What a bitch. Okay. Let's talk to you. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Uh, no thanks. Goodbye. Oh, that's... sure. That's not what I meant, though. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. That's not what I meant! Commander, you're here for some information? Yes. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. I just didn't want alcohol. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. Yeah. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. Not Cora's Den. <laughs> uh, Shares. What is Shaira? Shair. The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. 
Okay. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. <laughs> She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. All right. Interesting. Tell me about Flux in Cora's den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than I want to dance. Cora's den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Legit. Okay, then I'm done. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. You too, good sir. You too. Ooh. Totally gonna scan you. That ass. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Garrus. Didn't mean to run into you. I was told I told sh should have uh, told him nice shot, and I'm sad now. But I have missed my opportunity, so this is awkward. Okay. Um, I already went in there. My hair is tickling my nose. Stop it. Okay. I did. I did go this way. Shit. Okay. I should pro. That took forever. I should probably talk to that one guy. About his wife. Yeah, you. Hi. <clears throat> Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? She's coming home. I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. Aww. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, don't kill yourself. I will have to punch you in your sleep. In your death. Talk to Good you. Good day, Commander. The human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. Sound Commander? You know who I am? Huh? <laughs> yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. All right. Location. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avina. Avina? Oh, right. That? Never mind. Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Personal question. What's your name? What do you do here? Creepy. My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. Busy? You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel hub. politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. All right, goodbye. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. All right. So who else can I talk to? Can't talk to you guys. You or Vina, which I realized after I asked the question, damn it. Okay. I have to go across the bridge. So let's go this way. Because that's what I see. It is a lead to across the bridge. Financial district. Well, I guess that's what I'm going for. Because I need some more information on Saren. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! I really like it. I know it's like the first one and it's not the best graphics, but it's really pretty, you know? Or something that came out a while ago? What is this? Oh, it's an arrow. Uh, keeper. Keeper! I've had my office rearranged five times now. That's awkward. Five times? Yeah. Keep talking. Damn it. I guess that's all they had to say. Uh, that's the fast travel. What's in here? Neela. Welcome. I am Neelina. Neelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Huh? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. All right. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. Um... You serious? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Awkward. Consort. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Right. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Is she mystical? You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Alright, personal question. What do you do here, Nalina? 
I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. How? What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, mm. others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. Mm. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Oh, I want that. <laughs> I'd like to try out your services. Okay. Excellent. Did not mean to. I'll that. add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, mm, three <laughs> or four months. Oh my god. Okay, I'm done. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Melina. Huh? Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Damn. Yes, of course, mistress. Whoa. It's, 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 it's. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Uh, sure. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Let's say why, but I'm sure you're gonna be like, I don't know. Okay. Client. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. All right. Attendant. You're with the Alliance. My brother's a private back on Earth. All right. Okay. Cool. Up the stairs. All right. What do you want, girl? You should tell me, because I am curious. Hey, Cussie? That is close enough, Commander. <laughs> I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. What do you want? You wanted to speak with me? I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Of course. Tell me about it. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What went wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go oh. into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I see. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can huh? convince him to <coughs> stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Is that supposed to be a whisper in my ear? <laughs> I'm unsure as to what that now actually Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Okay. Out. Shepherd out. <laughs> so, Cora's den. Well, we have not had good experiences there. Well, I'm doing all these mini missions. I'm a little nervous. Although, don't I need to talk to her? Right. See, even the humans find the consort irresistible. Sure. Even though I totally don't, I just want to help people. But okay. Um. Cora's done. Wait, 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 wait. Fast transit. Okay. Cora's done. Board's locations. Yeah. Starting to get hang of where shit is. That's nah, really sad. <laughs> Seeing as I don't have very good skills of maneuverability. Okay. Don't anything shoot at me. Okay, thanks. Oh, shit. I got caught. <laughs> Can I run? Right. I accidentally caps locked. Okay, cool. Alright. What's going on in here? It's back on? Karis? Huh. What do you guys say about it, Garrus? Cisek always turned a blind eye. I think Fist was paying someone off. All right. So I gotta find. No, I don't need to sit down. Isn't that Rex? I got business here, but not with you. Is it? What? Okay. I guess that that wasn't Rex that I was trying to talk to before. Septimus. Ooh. Commander. Huh. What do you want? Uh, problems? What's bothering you, General? 
I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. Aww. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Hey, I could put you in that state. She Except I don't want me. to. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Is it worth it? Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her. And her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Straighten up. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Damn. Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It can help. It damn well couldn't hurt. Yeah. Uh, maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Glad to hear it. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Depends. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just <laughs> need you to convince him of the truth. How? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Where to? Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Okay. Well, here's the soldiers acting like soldiers. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Um, alright. Thank you, Garrus. Anything you want, you can find for sale in the wars. Well, legal or otherwise. I just want to let you know, I won't do that to you. I won't. Okay. Come with me, guys. So we have to find... Hmm. <laughs> we have to try and be ninjas. Figure out where the hell... Zaltar, or whatever his name was. I forgot it already. <laughs> but, whoa. Did you just... Garrus, you're a ninja. Um, it was in the embassies, he said. So, let's go this way. Alright. Oh, no, wait. Fast transit. I lied. Now, let's see if we can find it. Embassies. So we gotta find him. He's a diplomat. That is the extent of my knowledge. Alright. So this is the embassies? Alright. I guess I didn't really put that together. Now how do I find him? Probably up here where I found all of those other diplomats. Because I wasn't sure what they did. They just stood there and talked to me. Okay. This way. Alright. Diplomat. Elcor? Human, delighted. You're not who I need to talk to. Meet you. And you already okay, talked to me. A job here. Shit. This place is fantastic. It's not you. Shit. Okay. So, what's the other place? That I thought was a bar. What's in here? Can you just open? Okay, thanks. That's where I came from. Shh, shh, shh. Go back, go back, go back. I didn't do anything. Okay. This way? Nope, that's... I don't need pal. This way? Is there anybody else? Diplomat. Nope. Strange. Just says diplomat. I'm sure they'll say their name if I need to talk to them. Nasena. Well, you have a name. Whoa, whoa. Shepard. Shepard, calm down. Whew. Whew. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very Fine. Now you're a bartender. Shit. And there was nothing but a keeper up here. Awesome. Guess we have to go in the opposite direction. God damn it. Uh, also, I should probably save just in case. Because that seems like a smart idea. Alright. Yes. That's not the way I want. Come on, girl. We get, Oops. We gotta find out where it is. Also, by the way, guys, this is delicious. It is mango. Mm-hmm. Fucking delicious. Nothing but mango. Probably extremely unhealthy for me, but whatever. 
I'm not gonna think about it. All right. So I got this far. Oh shit. Um, Sisek Academy, Citadel Towers. I'm in. The God damn it. Oh, understand. I thought I said saw something that said uh, embassies, but I guess I was wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. To the ward. I don't need that. I need to stay this way. Okay. So, I guess let's figure out what's up here. Because I am unsure as to where I go. Ah! Just embassies does not help. Thanks. Alright. What's in here? Garrus, what you doing crouching up there? I can't go that way. Up here? Let's not glitch. That's where I came from. We don't need that. I've never gone up here. So... Oh. Talk to Hello you. there, human. Hmm? Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. So I'm here. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? Uh... I know who revealed mm -hmm. your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know <laughs> this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. <laughs> this is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. You'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. <laughs> I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. <laughs> Please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Uh -huh. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. I love these guys. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I like that they say their emotions. Makes me smile. Ooh, keeper. Gotcha. All right. So now that I figured all this out, do I have to go talk with her again? Uh pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Your speech. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Mm -hmm. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Punch him in the face. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, mm -hmm. I am very sorry for you. I like you. Elcor, tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. History. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Culture. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Alcor. Frankly, 
We Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Legit, Ambassador. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Mm -hmm. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Alright. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. <laughs> Good day to you, human. I really Enjoy like them. Your time on the Citadel. You're adorable. Okay, let's go. So, now that I've figured out all that, I should probably actually go back to this. And be like, hey, bitch, I fixed everything for you. You happy? Alright. So, that means I should actually fast transit, right? Got it. Um, Presidium locations, concert chambers, legit, I'm trying to figure out where everything is, oh god, got it, okay. Septimus has sent word, apparently he sought the consort's forgiveness. Yeah, okay, well I guess I could just come right in now. I already talked to all of you. Oh, you're, no. You're with the Alliance? Oh, back on Earth. You just changed positions. Fine. Let's see if I can interrupt her again. Awkward. Are you gonna be having a sexy time? No. Okay. Cool. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Of course. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Thank you. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. A trinket? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Okay. What's the trinket? Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, what just happened? Oh, I have four points. Put it into charm. What's that? Store discount. Ha ha. Cool. And I have. Oh God, someone's home. <laughs> I can do the rest now that I have it. So I like pistols. Unlock sniper rifles. Hell's yes. All right. And then shield boost. Might as well. All right. Cool. And is anybody else? Shotguns unlocked. You still have no points. And so do you. Alright. Cool. Alright, with that, I will save. And you guys will see what happens in the next episode. So, keep running at life, guys. Bye.